Hey, what's going on everybody? Diptesh here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you why you absolutely should and how you can undervolt your Intel laptop and your Nvidia GPU to make it more efficient, consistent and cooler. But before all that, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Also, join our Telegram community to engage in tech discussions and get alerted on the best tech deals the earliest. With that said guys, let's get going. Alright, I don't want to bore you on how undervolting works and stuff. For that, you can watch my old undervolting video. But I want to show you the benefits of undervolting in a few ways first. This is Cinemish R23 Multicore 10 minutes thermal throttling test. On the left side, we are running stock settings. And on the right side, we also have stock settings, but with an undervolt applied. And you can clearly see that with the undervolt applied, we are pulling less power. But despite that, we are getting the same clock speeds and obviously a big drop in CPU temperatures. 13 degree centigrade drop in average CPU package temperatures and a 17 degree centigrade drop in maximum temperatures. And we also achieve a higher score with our undervolted setup. Let me show you the impact of undervolting in a real game now. This is a CPU and GPU intensive scene in Cyberpunk 2077. And yet again, with our undervolted setup, we are getting the same performance, but we are pulling less power and our temperatures are around 8 to 10 degree centigrade cooler. Also, despite pulling less power, we are still hitting higher and more consistent clock speeds. Let me show you some more examples. Let's say it's extremely hot today and you decide to lock the CPU to only 35 watts to lower the temperatures. How does it affect performance? Let's compare. On the left, we have 35 watt but with no undervolting, while on the right, we have 35 watt but with an undervolt applied. And the difference is clear. With the undervolt applied, we are averaging around 300 MHz higher with our clock speeds, giving us around 13.4% more performance, which is a big difference. Now let's see what happens in an actual game. At 35 watt with no undervolt applied, we are averaging around 65 FPS. But with the undervolt applied, we are averaging 72 FPS. That's an 11% difference in performance. In fact, we can compare this performance with the laptop's stock settings and just look at the huge difference in temperatures while the performance difference is minimal. Finally, I wanted to show you how efficient you can make your CPU with undervolting. Here's a CPU power scaling graph and you can see that with undervolting applied, we are able to eke out more performance at lower power limits. That is, we are able to make our CPU more efficient. Let me also show you the effects of GPU undervolting. Again, same scene in Cyberpunk 2077, stock on the left and both the CPU and the GPU undervolted on the right. And just like the CPU, our undervolted GPU is pulling around 15 watt to 17 watt lesser power, temperatures are around 8 degree centigrade cooler and performance is almost the same. Alright, now let me show you how you can first undervolt your CPU. Do note that as of Intel 12th generation, only HK and HX models can be undervolted. If you are having an H model, then sorry, you are out of luck. This was not the case before with older generation and the reason behind this decision seems to be simple product segmentation which absolutely sucks. Anyways, first go into your Lenovo BIOS and enable Legion optimization. This will expose the GPU undervolt protection option, disable it. And then scroll up and you should see this Intel virtualization option become disabled. If not, then disable it. Windows 11 does not allow you to undervolt if virtualization is enabled. I actually recommend installing Windows 10 instead if you want to keep virtualization enabled because hardware based virtualization is an important feature to a lot of people. Next I recommend to stay in custom mode. You can choose maximum fans or custom fans according to your wish but I recommend to just max out all these settings. Alright then hop into your favorite game or any benchmark and then on the side open throttle stop. Then click on FIVR button and you'll see this window where you can change all the settings. Make sure at the top it says FIVR control 
if it says something like undervolt protection, that means your undervolting is not fully enabled. Select CPU core and then toggle on unlock adjustable settings. Select range as 250 millivolt and then slowly lower your offset. Typically you can go negative 70 millivolt or negative 100 millivolt to start with. I am starting with negative 99.6 millivolt and I will apply the same offset on the CPU P cache as well as the CPU E cache. Once that is done, click on OK save voltages after throttle stop exits. So that voltage settings are only saved to the INI file only when throttle stop successfully exits without any crash. Then click on apply. Switch back to your game or any benchmark whatever you're running and test for stability, performance and temperatures. If there are no crashes, then go into your FIVR control and lower the offset voltage further. apply and then test again. Repeat this until you hit a crash. Either your game will crash or your entire system will crash. But no worries, you can just force restart your laptop by pressing and holding the power button. If you crash the system, that means you have gone too far. You just have to go back to your previous stable offset. Simple as that. Okay, then finally click on OK and you are done. You can change a couple of other settings like minimize on close and enable to show CPU metrics in the hidden icons menu in the taskbar. One important tip that I would like to give is I recommend alongside applying your undervolt, it's better to lock the power limits as well by going into TPL settings. For example, as per my test, 45 watt is a really good compromise. So I lock the power limits of the CPU to 45 watt. Now do note, you need to open throttle stop after every reboot to apply your undervolting, which is fine. Once applied, it will remain for the entire session until you restart again. You can use task scheduler to open throttle stop on every reboot to automate this function, but that's up to you. Alright, now let me show you how to undervolt the GPU. So again, open any game or any benchmark which is super GPU heavy. Check out your maximum clock speeds. For me right now, it's 2595 MHz. Now I'm gonna open Hardware Info 64 and just show you the GPU voltage. And here you can see that we are hitting this 2595 MHz core clock at 1 volt, 1000 millivolt. Okay. Now open MSI Afterburner and go to settings and just enable unlock voltage control. Next go into your curve editor and here's where you will make all the changes. So we are currently hitting our maximum clocks at 1000 millivolt. What you need to do is go down 25 millivolt to 975 millivolt and take that point and raise it up to hit that 2595 megahertz. Then hold shift and drag select from left of the point to the right and press enter. Close and apply it. Go back to your game and it's not yet at 2595 MHz. Don't ask me why, I don't know. So go back and up it a little more to 2595 MHz. So now finally we are at 2595 MHz. Wow, that was hard to say. Okay. So notice our GPU power went down a bit and we didn't lose any performance yet. So you can move around a bit and test for stability. If it's stable, go back to your curve editor and go 25 millivolt lower to 950 millivolt now and pull it up to 2595 megahertz. Shift, select, enter, apply, and then go back to your game and test. Keep lowering your voltage until you crash. 
when you know that you have gone too far. So just go back to your previous stable voltage. Once you are done and found your perfect settings, you can save your settings to a profile and apply it whenever you want. Alright guys, so that's it for the tutorial. Undervolting is pretty simple, but it is highly recommended. I personally wouldn't buy any Intel laptop that doesn't support undervolting. It's critical for me. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, join our Telegram community to engage in tech discussions and get alerted on the best tech deals the earliest. Take care guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.